Welcome back, my name is Philip and today you and me we are gonna go to travel together. So we're gonna go to Barcelona together and it's not just a random weekend trip that I'm planning to do because I feel like I haven't been in Barcelona for a while. Uh, there's a purpose behind me going to Barcelona. See, many years back when I had no idea that photography exists and what kind of different areas of photography exist there, well, I didn't really have any idol until I found a man called Trey Redcliffe. So Trey Redcliffe is gonna have a photo walk session through Europe. He's gonna visit like 10, country, 10 countries or whatever and we're gonna follow him a little bit, especially the next step is Barcelona. And uh, before we go, it's time to get some love and then we can go. Unfortunately, there's no space in my backpack to take that doggy with me, but uh, we can manage on its own, right? You and me, peeps, let's go. Okay, the good thing is we did make it. The bad thing is one day, one day, I promise you, I'm gonna take one of these Ryanair house tests and I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Anyway, so no, not much sleep tonight, but it doesn't matter. We, are, we have arrived and it's a really, really lovely place. I mean, in the very heart of Barcelona, so in the very heart of uh, Catalonia, essentially, we have a beautiful, tiny, tiny room, but it's a lovely flat altogether. Now, the next step for me is have a shower, have maybe a nap of half an hour, and then explore the city around us a little bit. And in the meantime, for you guys, let's get some B-roll going. Literally no idea where I am. Hmm, should be somewhere around here. I didn't get too many specific instructions as to where I have to go, so I'm just gonna wander around and look for flick spots, I think. Stuff like that. Let's continue looking. <laughs> Wi-Fi. I just found Wi-Fi and realized I'm completely wrong. Like I'm not just a little bit wrong, I'm like, I'm wrong. I'm gonna have to walk fast. Okay guys, so we have now walked for about half an hour. I'm sweating, I'm warm, I have to get rid of this jacket. And uh, finally we have met two other people which have kind of wandered around without a name. So we're walking right towards Trevor so I can see him from here. But I need to sit down for a moment before I shake his hand. So we found him. That was him, the person you just saw. Now the problem is I can't really go there with the camera because the one thing I forgot is the microphone and the bus has the engine running. So the very second I'm going to step close to it, you're going to be dead. So we're going to have to wait until I go and talk to him until we actually move away from that damn bus. Um, yeah, but it's going to be another half an hour until that happens, I suppose. Okay, so I have the crowd behind me. We're gonna get moving finally. And actually, it never happens to me, but we are having a beautiful sunset. 
So I kind of have a good feeling about the path we're walking because remember we walked it twice already. Let's just see what we can find there. And maybe later we get a chance to talk to Trey as well. That would be kind of nice. <laughs> And the photo walk is over. I am exhausted, I am sunburned, I am tired, but I'm happy. And being happy ultimately is the one thing that really matters. Now, the evening is not quite over yet. We're gonna have to go up there, up, up there. When I say up there, I mean up there. Uh, there's gonna be an after party where we're gonna have a little chat with Trey as we head on the way randomly as well. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna ask a couple of questions, ask a couple of questions I think everybody who starts out photography is interested in. And we're gonna see what he has to say. And after that, we're gonna go so too bad. It looks exactly like our area, it looks posh. We belong here. It's just there's nobody here. So I'm going to go straight and I'm going to go left and I'm going to find an elevator that brings me to private. Once I'm in private, they're going to tell me where else I have to go. So hungry. So I don't think that you can actually see me, but so I'm currently on the 34th floor of the Ritz Carlton in Barcelona and it's freaking awesome. So we are in one of the most expensive places you can possibly be in the city. Holy damn. Okay. Hey Trey. Hello. Oh, hello. Let's <laughs> welcome to the drunken Ritz Carlton interview. It is indeed. After 36 euro for a beer or for two beers, I'm actually feeling quite happy so I think it's a good time for a moment. Oh good, excellent. Are you paying for your wine as well or is that on the house? Uh, I, someone bought me a drink. Okay. Yeah, some nice photo walker did. That's oh, really nice. You're the guy from the special services. Yeah, special forces, military yeah. guy. Him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> okay, try. I have yeah. two questions for you, which many people that start out nowadays they have they face these issues, right? Because okay. they're faced with many more issues than you might have come across when you started. You know, nowadays you know, of course, because you know, you're for years within the business. I'm still learning. The thing is, yeah, of course. But the first question is. If you were to start out, you know that many people struggle to find the perfect balance between life and photography itself. What is the first advice you would give people if they don't really know how to, how to start photography and how to sort of get into it in the first place? Well, I, I would definitely try a lot of different things. I think that people might look at me or other photographers and think like I always knew what I wanted to do. It's a very clear path, but it's been a very meandering path. And you know how kids kids try a lot of different things. You know, try violin one week, skateboarding the next. Grown ups stop doing that. We take ourselves so seriously because we don't want to fail. We're afraid. A failure, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So, especially with photography now, there's so many interesting styles of photography. Mm -hmm. um, I think something that's about to get really big is a 360 photography. Um, I love it. Hopefully, it will be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, in, in five years, pretty much all of us are going to be wearing goggles and experiencing the world through goggles. Yeah. It's just not enough content. Like right now, everyone's obsessed with Instagram. Like you're just scrolling through Instagram, you know, like a monkey. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to be around in five years. Yeah. So people like. 
you shouldn't like chase what's currently happening right now. You should just be interested in what's going to happen next. Because mm. if you're an artist, you can create art for any medium. Mm. And you want to create art for the medium where it makes sense. Mm. So even though I still do like 2D pictures, I still love it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I've started to do a lot more 3D, 360 stuff to yeah. see what that, and maybe that'll fail, and maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. So yeah. this idea yeah. that I, I'm somehow, you know, like, or, I think it's the same way. I feel like you're always just starting out. Hmm. I know you guys this from the perspective of someone that's just starting, hmm. like just getting their first camera, but I feel like that every year. I'm like, what am I going to do this year? <laughs> it doesn't okay. always work. Yeah, yeah. Fair. So you're always trying to sort of reinvent yourself every given year based on what might come into the future kind of thing? I wouldn't say... There is this idea of reinventing yourself, yeah. which I think is okay, but it kind of also... One reason I don't like that because it makes it sound like you don't really like yourself. Right. And you're always like desperately struggling to come up with something new. Something new, but it's not and It's, it's not yeah. true. It's not. It's not a desperation. It's mm -hmm. just like always trying something, always evolving. Because hopefully, you know, we're like a human should be like a river, always changing, mm -hmm. always trying to improve or evolve or have new experiences. Um, so I don't think you really have to like reinvent yourself, like like throw away some old shell to yeah. be a be a new person. Mm -hmm. Just keep trying, just keep trying new things, mm -hmm. keep evolving. It's like a steady progression. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Awesome, thanks. Man. And uh, the second question I have with the let's say the new age, right? Of Google throw all the different search algorithm every two months essentially. Right. You have so many possibilities to put yourself out there. But I think it's difficult for anybody who is starting out, or who's maybe even in the business for like a year and a half or two years, right. whatever. Where do you post your stuff? Like, how do you know which social media level to prioritize? Is there right. any secret? If not, that's totally fine. But yeah. Do you have any tip for the people that do struggle with this? Yes, I have a very good tip. Hot tip. It's this. Um, pick your favorite one, whether it's Instagram or Smugmug or whatever. I, I actually do. Like we do live in a world where everyone has like really small photos on Instagram, but I, I'm still a believer that you can have big versions of your photos. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as soon as you upload those, there's a new website. It's called ifttt.com. This website, ifttt, it means if this, then that. <laughs> so what you can do is just upload it to Instagram, and you go to this website, you give it permissions, and it will take that same photo and put it on Flickr, on Facebook, on Twitter, um, it's just one website. So you upload to one place, yeah. and ifttt.com, which is free for some reason, it replicates it everywhere That's and points awesome. back to Instagram. Not even I knew that. And I thought I was quite versed in social media. Apparently, yeah. not at all. Uh, awesome. And yeah. last question yeah. cats or dogs? Dogs. Yeah, I love my dog. I, I fully understand that. Yeah, blueberry. <laughs> my kid's name is Blueberry. She's blueberry. very sweet. Labradoodle. Okay. Labradoodle. Oh, so sweet. That dog. I have a small pug. It's, it's ugly, but it's cute. Oh, yeah, hey. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks for the Thank insight. you, sir. Cheers. Bye.